dreams and visions when satan wants to abort and sabotage your destiny he tries to stop you from seeing because satan is a master at creating blindness are we together he does not just blind your mind he blinds your eyes he blinds your understanding two things when satan wants to destroy the life of dreams and visions he will manipulate it so that you keep taking wrong steps in honor of what you are seeing and you keep failing then a time will come in disappointment you will no longer trust what you see are we together i saw this i took a step later i found out it was not god i saw this i took a step later i found out it was not god it will plant fear in you so that the next thing you see you say no my hand is not there again i will not make this mistake and in it you will lose precious opportunities do you know that the rescue of Jesus as a baby came by revelation to Joseph through a dream? If dreams were not powerful and were not God-ordained, God would not use it. That the best channel to communicate the rescue of the Savior who could die was a dream. Hallelujah. When believers go to sleep, it is not just your body lying lifeless for hours. It is that you are giving your spirit man an opportunity to interact with the spirit of God and draw forth prophetic messages, pictures and imageries. Many of the realms that this ministry by the grace of God is working in now, they were realms that I saw in dreams and visions yesterday. Yes, didn't get the pictures quite clearly for some of them, but I knew in types and shadows and some of them clearly saw that this was the direction. Every confusion in your life that has come as a result of haziness in dreams and visions. Every assumption that has now cost you. Some of you, it has cost you finances. It has cost you relationships. It's cost you your health. In the name of Jesus, may that veil be torn right now. May that veil be torn right now. Hallelujah. I hope you know. Sit down, please. The first thing Satan manipulated in the life of Adam and Eve, Eve particularly, was their eyes. The dynamics of the fall of man started with his speaking, his manipulation, but it went to their eyes. The Bible says when the woman saw, what she heard was there, but until it affected what she saw, it had no power over her. Regardless what the serpent was saying, she still had her stamina. And her nakedness was not there. Regardless the information, but the moment it translated to an alteration of her vision, when she saw, she acted upon what she saw and fell. Hallelujah. In fact, it was... It was Paul, I believe, who was speaking, he said, I fear lest Satan beguile you with the same subtlety that he used for Eve in the garden. Do you know how he made them fall? He manipulated the power of their sight. He casted an image upon them and they responded to that image to their detriment. Question, do you know what happened to the four lepers and the people who ran away and brought blessings to Samaria? It was first a manipulation of what they heard, but it was beyond what they heard. I believe with all my, my heart that their eyes had a role to play. What you hear may not be enough to, you can't just be running because you had sounds. There has to be something your eyes see to convince you because you can doubt what you hear, but you cannot doubt what you see. There are times that when you place a call, you are hearing someone's voice but either because there is a network problem or perhaps the person has some cold he's not able to speak clearly and sometimes you have to check who you are talking to with your eyes and still see the name and you say oh you are still the person you hardly doubt say a video call when you are seeing the person the voice may not sound like the person but with your eyes you can verify that this is the person hallelujah are we blessed dreams and visions saints of God hear me in this end time God is restoring the seeing eye helping people to now begin to have 
genuine dreams and visions that are destiny compliant and some of you you came here because your life has marked time for far too long you don't see again you don't hear again and your ministry has gone down because you don't even know the next chapter whereas in the realm of the spirit you are supposed to have entered the next phase maybe of your apostolic ministry maybe of your prophetic ministry maybe of your prayer ministry maybe of your giving maybe your business is supposed to have gone to the next level but the bankruptcy of the seen eye has kept you in one place tonight you will receive your sight yeah. Yeah. Hi, 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 hi. glory be to God Hi, 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 glory be to God. Hi, 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 glory be to God. Hi, 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 glory be to God. Hi, 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 glory be to God. Can I tell you, when you have the seen eye, a man can smile at you and you know he's still an enemy because you can look beyond the paraphernalia when you have the seen eye even the keys of judas will not deceive you there are many believers who have fallen as cheap prey to the hypocrisy of man if you are a leader here hear me if you just depend on yes sir daddy man of god get ready for pain in your life in ministry you must have the seen eye that beyond that which men do you can see into the heart when judas came and kissed jesus jesus held his hand and said you betray your master with a kiss judas it is not a sign of love a kiss should be a sign of love but i've seen beyond this the seen eye when Peter was speaking, you would think he was speaking in, in expressing empathy. Oh, Jesus, don't go to the cross. The gift of the seen eye. Satan, get deep behind me. And then Peter said, what happened? He said, Peter, blindness. Satan has desired to sift you like wheat. So just because you spoke like God yesterday does not mean you are speaking like him today. If Satan could come and manipulate the sincerity of a man, the seen eye. It is the seen eye that can make you get a job of 500,000 and yet you look beyond it and see that in the midst of that job, as good as it is, there is still something that can derail you out of destiny and you would rather follow the path of the one that gives you 200,000 but within it you will find your destiny helper there seen eye there are people who left where their helpers were and traveled to where their enemies were not knowing literally took their hands to their enemies because they lacked the seen eye ladies and gentlemen your confidence in life is highly predicated on your ability to see the prophet in spite of the threat of the armies he stood still in confidence because his servant was blind and God said I know the problem of this man and inspired the prophet to open his eyes and he saw that they that were with them were by far greater than they that were against them ladies and gentlemen when you have the seen eye as a man of God you can look at five members and see nations the seen eye the seen eye right from the days of nothing by the grace of god and the days of no influence no voice no whatever by the privilege of the seen eye our confidence was still high knowing that god does not lie can i tell you when god shows you the future you will stand confident you would dance in the midst of nothing like a madman because you are seeing what others are not seeing you will get up from a dream you will get up from a vision and tap your loved ones and say hallelujah deliverance has come for this family they will say we don't understand what you are saying they will say i have seen it hallelujah when there was a storm the apostle got up and said you know what have no fear the angel of the Lord has appeared to me and he showed me that there shall be no loss and the Bible says upon that confidence 
they saw through the storm until they arrived at an island called Melita. The storms in your life today are overwhelming you and telling on your integrity as far as your love for God is concerned because you have no eyes to see beyond the now. If you have the eyes to see beyond the now, you will sit in, even in the midst of nothing and sing praises and give thanks because you have seen beyond the now. Please sit down. Dreams and visions. When it's time to pray, we are going to ask the Lord, purify my dreams, purify my vision. And for some of you, I don't know what happened to your Christian life, that your visions are not clear again or you do not even see. There are some of you, you were so graced and gifted by God. You can literally sit down like you are watching me and watch the movies of your destiny unravel. Either through carelessness, familiarity, or lack of discernment, you lost it. Tonight, may there be a restoration. I say it again, may there be a restoration. that I may receive my sight. The sight I lost, that I may receive my sight. When God gives you the gift and the miracle of a seen eye, the first area of your life that begins to speak is your dreams and your visions. Danger will be averted when you see. Opportunities will be prepared adequately for when you see. You will be able to know what God is saying now if you are in ministry, I'd like you to listen to me. End time ministry will not happen for you if you do not have a seen eye. You will go and preach in places you should not go and ruin your life and destiny and your reputation and God's name upon your life because of very juicy opportunities that may be inconsistent with God's program. The seen eye. It was through a dream that the Lord spoke to Abimelech. When Abimelech was going to take Abraham's wife, a dream came. Yes, Mr. Man, this is a covenant woman. A covenant child is coming out of this. You are a dead man already if you fight this, this vision. And Abimelech got up in the morning and said, I'm sorry, and gave Abraham gifts. That's how he left Egypt wealthy. Hallelujah. Can I tell you the truth? You must pray for a resurrection of your dreams. Our fathers, some of them were not educated, but my goodness, through the channel of dreams and visions, they worked in accuracy that did not make sense. They said things five years before it happened. You have your eyes open already. What you are praying for tonight it's not just an open eyes, it's a seeing eye. Your eyes have been open for far too long, but the veil is still upon you and you continue to fall prey to the vicissitudes of life. Let me give you number two. Is God helping someone? The gift of sight. Number two, the moment the believer receives the gift of sight, the second area that begins to speak in your life, are you ready now? Is your imaginations and your creativity. Write it down. Mm. The first revelation of the Holy Spirit in scripture was not as a healing spirit, was not even as a restoring spirit. It was as a creative spirit. When God gives you the miracle of open eyes, hear me, the second area in your life that is activated is your imagination and your creativity. And you please listen to what I have to say here. The mental pictures and the goals and the plans that frame your destiny are a product of this advantage. Otherwise, you will cook up things by yourself that have no blueprint. God can breathe upon your mind and you will come up with prophetic pictures that begin to spell the goal for the next level of your life. In Genesis chapter 11, 1 to 5, we see the power of imagination. The whole earth was of one language and one speech. And then the Bible says it came to pass that as they journeyed, they found a plain in the land of China and dwelt there. Verse 3, the Bible says they said to one another, Go to, let us make bricks 
and burn them thoroughly let us make stone and slime for mortar verse 4 and then the bible says they said let us build a city and a tower whose top may reach the heavens and let us make us a name lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the earth verse 5 and the lord came down to see he didn't come down to hear he came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men builded let's read verse 6 the bible says and the lord said behold the people is one and they have all one language and this they begin to do hallelujah and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined your imagination is a miracle god deposited that ability in you because your imagination like the prophetic can go into the future can go into yesterday your imagination can go to places that you cannot yet go physically imagination is someone learning in exodus chapter 31 1 to 6 exodus 31 1 to 6 having given moses watch this it was through these supernatural encounters Moses received the blueprint of the tabernacle in the wilderness. But how was it going to come to pass? The Lord spake unto Moses saying, verse 2, See, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hor, of the tribe of Judah. Uh -huh. I have filled him with the spirit of God in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge and in all manner of workmanship what for to devise cunning works to walk in gold in silver in brass verse 5 and in cutting of stones to set them and in carvings of timber and to walk all manner of workmanship final verse and i behold i have given with him a heel up the son of all that name of the tribe of dan and in the hands of all that are wise-hearted, I have put wisdom that they may make all that I have commanded thee. It's one thing to receive the commandment, but you need your imagination, ladies and gentlemen, and your creativity activated. And this is a function of the miracle of sight. There are companies today who have partnered with demon spirits and continue to come up with witty inventions, ideas that redefine civilization. And believers do not know that the miracle of sight can translate to a creative mind. When you know this, it will tell on the kinds of songs that you bring from the spirit. Yes, sir. Some of these songs that you hear and you wonder, how did this person write this song? I can tell you, it's not just visions and dreams. Not all of them were just received verbatim. They sat down and the breath of the Spirit came upon their creativity. And they conjured words and melodies together that your heart cannot stop singing. Creativity. Creativity. There are people today who have been rewarded by nations because they sustained the intelligence to download superior technological ideas, superior solutions via the medium of creativity and imagination. Hmm. You want to prosper? Here is where that possibility comes upon you. The breath of the Almighty. You will think out creative ideas. God will show you things that others are not seeing. And with it, God will begin to rewrite your life. And believe me, this works. Is someone learning? There are people today who design clothes. And there is no end to their creativity. There are architects today who have designed whole cities and nations. How do you think those things came? I hope you know anything you imagine, you only imagine it because it already exists. If it does not exist, it cannot be captured in your imagination. Anything that finds itself in your imagination, it is because it has a frame in the realm of the spirit already. 
Your assignment is to culture your creativity such that you see and edit the thoughts and the pictures that are inconsistent with your destiny and select the ones that will give material frame to God's speakings in your life. The fact that you can imagine a thing means it already exists. You think I'm joking? Ask people in the movie industry. You think I'm joking? Ask architects. You think I'm joking? Ask professionals. Ask artists. There are artworks today that are worth tens and hundreds of millions of dollars. Out of nowhere you say, someone just began to paint. No, you lied. It was always there. It was simply transported and it followed the gate of imagination. So your Bible says, Ephesians 3.20, Now unto him who is able to do exceeding abundantly, far above all we ask, some versions will say, imagine. 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 Can I tell you the truth? If you lack this faculty of creativity and imagination, after one week of preaching, you will not have sermons again. Did you hear what I said? It is beyond seeing visions. The realm of imagination and creativity is also the realm where productivity lies. There is no end to the vast resources of intelligence that comes out from within your mind. I preach an average of two or three messages every week with all humility and by the grace of God. I've been doing this for many years. You imagine once upon a time, I think one of my phones crashed and that was when I realized that I lost over 800 sermons that I had prepared. 800 sermons and everything just went and I had to start again. I wept like Jesus at the tomb of Lazarus. But after that, <laughs> where it came from the first place is still there. Mm, still there. Listen, those who understand this, have manifested superhuman attributes and we have found names for them. Genesis we call some. They have only tapped into that possibility. Truly, there is the miracle of the seen eye that tells on your creativity. The songs that come from you. These guys, watch this. These, my dear people, are here playing these instruments. I hope you know that when you play any of these instruments, you are not really told what to play. It is that faculty that is responsible for this. That is what is needed to drive. There are people who always have accidents as far as they go out. The moment they go out, they will hit another car. I can tell you something is wrong with this realm of creativity. You are a businessman. I show you a formula. You can lock yourself. I'm going to be showing you how to prime this, my goodness. Ah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When you understand this, as a designer, you will start dressing kings. They will say, where did this thing come from? You will say your mind, but the truth is it came from the realm of the spirit. Only waiting for the gate of your imagination would it allow it to pass. All the businesses that thrive today, from Facebook to Twitter, to those who design, to those who have made all kinds of things it came from there there are companies today that try to simulate divine creativity by building departments called research and development what is the assignment of a research and development arm of to sit down and walk upon their mind there is a better way typewriter cannot be the only thing there is a way of taking away keypads now there is a way of even taking away the phone and yet it is there creativity is someone hearing what I'm saying hallelujah once upon a time if you wanted to hunt or you wanted to be wealthy you would go to the bush and risk your life to hunt animals and then tapping into this creativity someone came up and said no what you call civilization is simply what happens when men honor this realm in the spirit of creativity and imagination civilization is so constructed as an honor to creativity and imagination if you resurrect someone now 
who was alive 400 years when he comes upon the earth he will be shocked what is this thing i'm holding they say a phone a phone what is this thing you are wearing and you give it all kinds of descriptions there are literally people who are hired because either by divination or by instincts they have trained their creativity and imagination they can sit down and look at things and say no there is a better way do you know for instance that the glorious future building of koinonia is already in the spirit it's there it's not in the mind of an architect it's there predetermined by the counsel of god but it takes someone agreeing with god and then you receive through creativity my life has changed because of this sermons have come from this realm your do you know your approach to the study of scripture will change when you have creativity there are things you will see that a person whose creativity has not been empowered will not see creativity i think i was told as, as a story that i understand that god's servant has shared himself that while they were building you know the faith tabernacle now um there was a time that there was they needed to push some gadget inside and then it was just maybe a fractions of inches higher than the door and it would not go in and the people wanted to break the door and then push it in and he said no stop he said there's a way out and they said there's no way out sir how do we push he said there is a way out and he went and stood and prayed and he came out he said deflate the tire a little push it in and pump it back there will always be a way i receive i manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see jesus Lifted up, exalted, I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. One song that can come from that realm can sort you and your generation and your children's children there are people today who are not musicians but they partnered with spirits and came up with ideas ladies and gentlemen the cure for poverty is found in this realm not just visions when the spirit moves upon you as a creative spirit you will come up with products listen People give me all kinds of gifts and I'm really honored to have them and sometimes I look at the things people give me and I wonder what kind of mind they had to have created some of the gifts that they have hallelujah I remember one time someone gave me something you just hook the tip of it just in something that looks like a rod no matter how you shake that thing it will never fall just a tip of it i don't know how what kind of thinking you play with it like a child playing it never falls the one time president of the united states was asked what does it take to fly a rocket to the moon and he said the will to do it the will to do it that's all that is required what does it take to move your store who would have believed that from one room someone can have a global business that with a capital of one million you can set up a room literally and not even have any products there and become a millionaire in six months someone came up with something called e-commerce and it has changed the lives of people today who would have believed that Joshua Selman is standing here in Abuja Nigeria and speaking to nations you can't hold it yet you are seeing me they simulated immortality and omnipresence you never would have believed that i can be everywhere now that can be simulated through the power of the internet only god knows what is left in the spirit 
waiting for men and women who have the seeing eye only God knows what is left ladies and gentlemen hallelujah I traveled to a particular nation some time back and visiting a few of their top entrepreneurs I had the opportunity to visit one of the offices they facilitate transactions and I was told that about 95 percent of the transaction in that nation passes through that platform so I had the opportunity to sit and have a discussion with them headed by a woman very unassuming but powerful woman I had to ask her a question how do you do this that 95 percent of the transaction of a whole nation of over 50 million 50 yeah million people one man's creativity and while they are seated there another person is saying God you are not fair to me you would have given me the grace to have a rich father and God is saying I gave you more than what is a rich father you would just have been blinded until you are 40 years now I'm praying for someone who in the name of my God and your God you will receive the miracle of sight tonight <laughs> hallelujah someone looks at a goat and a ram and a sheep and all they are seeing is the reward for hunting and yet another person was looking and by creativity the focus was not on the animal but on the four and he said this i'm seeing a jacket not just an animal moving full of hair another person looks at a tree and is thinking firewood another person is thinking and say no this is a table that kings will sit on I met a young man not too long ago and this gentleman now works with the Dubai government and they released some very serious money and when he was sharing with me the idea he came up with I was tempted to ask him how old are you but you see that doesn't matter creativity Make sure when I ask you to lay your hands on your head, even if it's two of your hands, you will lay there. You must cry in the spirit. Lord, this faculty of imagination, something must come out of it that will feed my children. Something must come out of it that will serve your purposes. Hallelujah. Someone came up with an idea called smart homes. By the spirit, it has redefined architecture and building today. You find young people in their early and mid 20s marvelously blessed sitting down with the kings of nations and signing contracts because of their mind not their size not their age that I may receive my sight that I may receive my sight everything you go to a restaurant and pay hundred thousand for is available in the farm someone saw how to combine it in a way you do not know and you have to pay for your ignorance sometimes almost forever are we together one time someone gave me I have a lot of those gifts someone gave me a cup and that cup when you pour hot water it changes it brings out something whether your picture or whatever they put that I'm saying my goodness this is someone thinking you know this is someone thinking Ladies and gentlemen, once upon a time, they sell ice water. You put it in an ice, a, a, a leather, and then you keep it. And then when you buy it, you can't take it because it's iced. You have to impatiently endure until it defrosts. Then you now take it. And someone looked at it and said, no, kings will not take this. Creativity. I don't know who I'm speaking to today, but it may not be demons that are keeping your business where it is, or maybe your law firm, or maybe whatever it is. The world has a messless honor and recognition for creative people. When you are creative and that by the spirit, nobody will ask you where you are coming from again. Creativity, creativity, creativity 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 by the power of the Holy Spirit are you ready to lay your hands on your head in one minute please lay your hands and cry a cry in one minute father breathe upon my mind 
let my imagination come alive let my creativity come alive let my imagination come alive let my creativity come alive someone is praying let my imagination come alive let my creativity come alive keep praying spirit of the living god i receive the gift of the seeing eye let my creativity come alive. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As you travel around the world sometimes, you are almost tempted to say, Africa, did they cause us? Nigeria, was it a cause that came on us? And even if it's a cause, we rebuke it in Jesus' name. But you find out people with the same mind you go around the world and see what teenagers are doing. Redefining the civilization across many, many places. Literally, they sit down and come up with witty inventions. Did you know that in the 50s and 60s, you would not hold a mic like this? If you gave someone a mic like this, he probably may run away. But now someone has done, and this is even a lot of old school. I still like it, but it's old school. There are people who, they don't even, I mean, they just, just say something that looks like my button. And that's it. Creativity. Many Christians remain poor, remain mediocre, and they are crying, Oh God, who will arise to bless me? The question is, what needs to arise from within your spirit? creativity there are many people today saying I'm a graduate I read this I read that they have degrees but they are not creative they are not innovative and there are many opportunities that will pass them by I'm praying for someone something must come out of your spirit before the end of this year I say it again something must come out of your spirit before the end of this year Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. When you go to the United States, there's a university called Liberty University. And the story behind that university is that um, the founder wanted to build, please sit down, please sit down, that the founder wanted to build an institution, we are told, where average people who did not have the ability to pay a very large amount of school fees would at least be able to go to school but how would he raise that money and then history tells us that he sat down and taught and taught and taught and taught and said there has to be a way he needed millions of dollars as a then to be able to establish the university but from you know from his his, the, his that current condition nobody was willing to give him that kind of money and History tells us that he sat down and found an idea and he started traveling all across the United States holding seminars as large as this kind of meetings and he began to teach people what some of you may call or know as the acres of diamond. It was a story, I don't want to go into it since I'm preaching. But that story, the morale was to help people appreciate what they had within them that before you go out searching for things elsewhere search within and you'll find out that what you are looking around for is in your house and he went around the united states and people were so inspired by his talk and his lectures he earned millions of dollars and there were support systems that rose up for him people were so inspired and decided to partner with his vision until that university was founded someone said there is a way out let the devil hear you. Let your destiny hear you. Don't use that word impossible again. Settle down and say there is a way out. Lord, there is a way out. 
this issue of living from hand to mouth i don't have to be an armed robber to survive there is a way out spirit of the living god breathe upon my mind there is a creative way and then while you are doing that hear me an idea that may not make sense can i tell you i wish i had time to teach you on priming creativity many of the ideas you will receive will be worthless respect them by writing them even if you don't execute them among the many supposedly useless ideas you are priming your creativity like you are mining gold or like you are mining oil a lot of rubbish will come out first but you just respect it and something will come out very precious that one thing that comes out is what can change your life 